my channel so for today's video i have for you is another makeup tutorial and the first makeup tutorial is i did feature my very own palette which is the i am cosmetic mermaid glitter palette all right so if you haven't watched that video i did a giveaway on it as well and it's still ongoing until i think i put it until the 31st or was it the first week of next month i can't remember but whatever it is the giveaway for you to stand a chance to win one of this palette as well as a mystery gift for me just go on to the previous video which i will link it over in the card section of course you watch that video after this video yeah. and then i also did a makeup tutorial featuring uh, my glitter i think i use the shade elsa uh it's like a blue turquoise eyeshadow so if you want to watch that as well, it will be in the card section and today I thought I'll be doing this sweet pink kish and I'm sorry we are hearing my son at the front he's like mimicking whatever I'm trying to say, okay? This is the look that I came up with um, I actually went out with a rose gold and then when I came back, I decided to make a tutorial and I wash off and then I sort of put a different kind of glitter now but then again it turns out pretty well and i really really like it so guys if you actually want me to continue making like a makeup tutorial featuring my glitter palette probably i will be calling it the glitz and glam series or something uh, so for me i really really love glitter i can rock it even to go to ntc or pasa like literally like literally like literally right and i actually pop up a little highlighter down there which is not normal for me my skin is getting better which means it it's the bumps and the bukit bukau on my face is getting lesser so i think from now onwards i might be putting on highlighter over at my cheekbones and i don't know if i will be obsessed with glit uh, glitter and highlighter at the same time but we will see all right guys okay so without further blabbering any of you guys want to see how i create this look just keep on watching and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't just click, it. Just click the link as, what am i saying just click the subscribe button down below as well as the bell icon next to it also please hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and share guys that's the most important thing okay share the video and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye guys hey there welcome to my bare face this is how i look without any makeup and i can tell you that my skin is getting a tad bit better than before do let me know in the comments if you guys would like a skincare routine from me and i'll be sure to do it for you guys here as you guys can see i've already done my eyebrows off camera and we're gonna use tape so that we can get the precise creased eyeshadow application i'm gonna use my modern renaissance palette it is one of my favorite palettes and i'll be using the shade tempera to actually set my concealer and then going in with burnt orange as my transition shade followed by real girl placing it slightly below the crease to create depth and i'm focusing it on the outer v and dragging whatever balance of product on the brush towards the inner corner next with saffron's umber i'm gonna apply it generously over the previous shade to further darken it before using a clean fluffy brush to blend and diffuse any harsh line in the crease for concealer, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer in 1.5 and I'm cutting the crease in preparation to apply my pressed glitter in Arista. The cut crease will be like a guide so I know roughly where I should be placing it and try to get to get and try to get both eyes as symmetrical as possible. So with my pressed glitter, there is no need to apply it with a glue nor a glitter primer. You just apply it directly off the pan in a padding motion. Fallout wise, I would be lying if I were to say none at all, but I'll say it's very, very minimal. Next, apply eyeliner and I'm all about wing liner. Rarely, I will not have a wing when I apply eyeliner. It's either it's there or no eyeliner at all. But these days, I've been very lazy to apply eyeliner. So unless I feel like it, it, it won't be there. 
The good thing about not applying your base makeup is should there be any eyeshadow fallout or any eyeliner mistake or you just want to sharpen the wing without using concealer, it's just use wet wipes and wipe it all away before applying your usual foundation routine. I actually rarely do my base first before my eye makeup unless I'm using glitter then I will do the eyes first followed by the base. Overall, it all comes down to what kind of makeup you're going to go for on that particular day. I don't really feel like doing any cream contour today so I'm just gonna go straight in with my Kat Von D shade and light contour palette followed by my all time and holy grail product which is my Ben Nye banana powder. I don't really feel like baking either so I'll just be swiping it on the normal areas that I usually bake. I'm using this unicorn brush that I got from Nami Makeup Polish. She's selling it for like $10. So if you guys are interested to get it, do the her she you want to order. It comes in 5 pieces, so that's like $2 per brush for a super soft brush guys. They are not prickly when you use it against your face like some low quality brushes does. I'll link it in the description if you want to check out her Instagram shop. She's selling awesome stuff at a steal guys. For my lips, I'm using Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks and I really love her liquid lipstick because I feel each colour will actually complement one another when you mix them and here I'm using bow and arrow for lining the lips and then to fill it in, I'm using Lovesick. For blush, I'm using NYX Powder Blush in Dusty Rose. I really love this blush because I feel it's like the perfect everyday blush color for me. And I'm finally, finally applying highlighter on my face guys. If you guys have been following me long enough, you'll definitely know I never really like putting on highlighter on my face. Reason is because number one, I have oily skin back then which I feel I no longer have now. I feel my skin has gone from combination to normal thanks to Atomy skincare. Not to mention I'm no longer breaking out so that brings me to reason number two. If you have textured skin, applying highlighter will only emphasize them so that's why I never really like to apply it because my breakouts are usually on my cheeks area. So yas, story of my life. This is why I usually apply eyeshadow on my lower lash. It is because I feel naked if I don't apply it there. So to finish off the eye look, I'm applying Venetian Red on the lower lash just halfway through. Next, I'm using Inglot Cold Pencil in number 5 and tight lining my lower lash line for an innocent, cute look. If you have smaller eyes, try switching your black eyeliner for a white or a beige and it does make your eyes bigger and more wide awake. Lastly, I like to apply like a two dot on the center of my lower lash as a beauty mark before applying my mascara and I feel it will also create an illusion of a fuller lash in the middle for that cute innocent nonsense look lah basically, you know. <laughs> By the way guys, you should totally get this micro cara. The wand is super small and it has fibers in them to not only curl your lower lashes a bit easier but will also give you a fuller lower lash with every stroke. And that's basically it guys for the tutorial. I feel it is a wearable, sweet and cute look that you guys can actually wear to jemputan or dinner or wherever you guys feel like having some glitz and glam on your eyes. You just put some blinks and you're good to go. To hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the tutorial, share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet already. My next upcoming video will be a vlog. I'm bringing you guys to a store full of authentic but crazy affordable cosmetics. Hit the bell button so you guys won't miss the video when I have it out. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!